Hey Leo, how's it going? I hope you're having a great week. This is going to be the situation as it is right now, and we are going to see um, the outcome, what you need to embrace, what you need to let go of. Always take what resonates, and then you know to always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus placement readings for additional clarity. Quick reminder, the giveaway for this month is two free love readings, so you need to be a subscriber. I have giveaways each and every month for those of you that are new. It's my, just my way of paying forward, so it'll be two free love readings this month. All you need to do is be that subscriber and leave um, a vacation emoji down below in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of June. Each month it's something different that I give away. You, um, most of the time it is free readings two or more the emojis will differ but it's just your way of letting me know that you're interested in the giveaway so leave that vacation emoji whatever is in your phone that allows you to do it if you're watching this from a um, desktop or a laptop just let me know that you're interested and at the end of the month I'll randomly choose two people and reach out to you through YouTube all right Leo's let's get into this what is the current situation for my Leos? Never ending story, 37. Something that's nearing an end. A cycle maybe that needs to be closed out in your life. That doesn't, re doesn't belong open in your life anymore. Doesn't. It doesn't belong to have, you know, it, it's something that you don't need to put energy or thought into. I also, when I see this because of the mirror, I think of like never ending story within twin flames. So for those of you going through a twin flame connection, this could definitely resonate. What else for my love videos? Okay. co-create, learning to just get along. When I see this card, I feel like blossom, bloom where you are planted. You know, it doesn't matter what you, um, what you have going on in your life. It's like thrive. Thrive in whatever situation you find yourself in. But there might be a situation where um, there needs to be amending. There needs to be a discussion maybe it's an you know an ending that has happened where you and someone else really do want to talk it out now remember it doesn't always have to be about romantic love it could be two people that have a child together you know and they're not together Spirit, what else can you give my lovely Leo's the current situation? The current situation. All right, we have making a decision. You have a choice to make. It's up to you. It's up to you making the right choice. I do feel something's going to be, need to make a decision very soon. If you look at this picture, it's all. It's everything is green, everything is blossomed, everything is healthy, which definitely reminds me of the spring, summer type energy. You need to make a big decision and look at this, a soul connection with someone, the one your heart desires and it feels a bond with. Now remember, it doesn't always have to be about romantic love. You could have a soul connection in your life in this lifetime and they're your best friend. You may meet somebody and instinctively know that there's a soul tie. There's something different about the energy between you and this person. Confident, strong-willed, feeling secure, able to conquer the world. And this is the energy that I do feel are my Leos. The lion, it's just, when you guys are in your best energy, you're unstoppable. And I feel like there's something definitely pulling at you that's requiring your attention. All right, so what else from Leo's? Archangel. 
angel. I feel like there's two here. No, there's just, they're thicker. 36, Archangel Virtio. Angel of lifestyle and affection, generosity, joy, pleasure, optimism, heart-centered fulfillment. It says, take time away and something is occurring in the month of July. Citrine stone. I don't have my citrine right here, but it's that, that yellowish um, glowing stone is citrine. I inspire joy and I support time off in order to live a vibrant, fulfilling, and pleasant life. It's okay to pamper yourself. This is your energy, but I'm also feeling the Four of Swords energy. So you also might have air in your chart, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I'm feeling air energy, I'm feeling Four of Swords, and even to take a break, a timeout, even a, even a staycation, and just being with yourself and your thoughts. Overall energy, three of swords, heartbreak. Feeling um, like you've had your heart broken. That you've had your heart trampled on. This could be in various situations. This could be with friends, family members. It also, obviously, it could be a love interest. It's also the energy of a third party. So some of you might be going through that right now. All right. Current situation. Thank you, Spirit. Current situation is the Page of Wands, wanting to take a leap of faith forward to something that you see growth within. Have that free spirit and this confidence and take that leap forward to a brand new start. And like I said, look at this. Here's air energy. King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what else we can get. Current situation. For my Leos. Current situation. Emperor. Divine masculine energy showing up. And the Queen of Swords. See, I know this is Aries specifically, but it is also that fire energy. And do you see what the way these two people are positioned? You may know your person as a different sign, but we do have strong air showing up. So they may have air in their chart, but I just feel that this person, there's two people at odds. Two people have turned their backs towards one another. You're feeling confident. You're having that energy to take that leap of faith forward. I feel that you're watching each other from afar. Yeah, and here's the third party right here, Leo. Three of Swords, for those of you that resonate, the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Now also, if you have air or earth in your chart, I feel that somebody has gone silent on someone here. Now cross watchers, it could be you going silent on Leo, Leo, you know, vice versa, but I feel like somebody is going si has gone silent here. But I do feel that there's going to be progress ahead. I have the feminine energy here. So for those of you that resonates, I feel like there is someone who broke your heart. And like I said, for some of you, it's possibly a third party situation. What does Leo need to embrace about the situation spirit? Justice, balancing of the scales, more air energy, Libra specifically. For those of you that this resonates, co-creating could just be balancing out those scales so that you're able to move on. But for others, I feel it's going to be balancing out those scales because there are strong feelings here. All right, spirit. And what does Leo need to let go of? See, it's like for some, 
it's almost, you know, you're thriving, you're doing well on your own. Taking that leap of faith towards someone, it's going to require a lot of confidence, but a lot of, you know, putting your ego aside or putting your, your, the wall that you created aside, you're doing well. And you're almost like, you know, why would I take that leap of faith, especially with this Three of Swords energy? But I do feel that you're completely being noticed and watched from afar. This person wants better days ahead with you. I do feel you brought a lot of light and a lot of fun to their life. What's going to be the overall outcome in this situation, Spirit? See, it's two people persisting forward. A part of you still realizes that you feel emotionally content when things are balanced with this person. You feel like ever, you know, you, you just feel like your best self even increased happiness within you, and the two of you are going to get past these struggles. I feel like you're going to both be that wounded warrior that makes the effort towards one another, willing to get through the obstacles, willing, willing to put in, you know, what effort it requires. I do have strong fire here, obviously. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then Air. Page of Coins. Could be a younger Earth sign. And Leo, it may be somebody with the Three of Pentacles showing up here. It may be somebody that you've already done business with or that you worked with. With the Three of Swords here, it may be like an inner office. Um, you know, you the two of you just had this connection, this strong connection. Maybe you had somebody else at home. Maybe they had somebody else at home. I really feel an offer wants to be made here. And I do feel like you're going to be shocked when you hear from this person. Spirit, please clarify the emperor. I feel this emperor energy. Yeah, see? It's almost like they're putting their, their wall down. They're putting their ego aside. And they're making that heart, like that heart overhead decision. Where, they're, where they went silent, it's like being out of your energy is driving them crazy. They're still watching you from afar. They never completely separated from this. Why is the tower here? Yeah, like I said, I do feel like a decision is going to be made. I do feel that there may be multiple offers here, multiple people involved. And I feel like a decision is going to be made, need to be made. But I still see you taking that leap of faith forward. You're each other's wish fulfillment. And look at this. The next card was the Empress. So we have the Empress and the Emperor. You're missing this person too, Leo. And this definitely is a very strong soul connection. All right, let's see what other messages I can get. And then we'll pull Scrabble tiles. Older man. So for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody older. Dealings or relationship with an older man. This also, like I said, doesn't always have to be about romance. Take what resonates. Maybe you're falling out with your father or a father figure or your grandfather. I do definitely, obviously, Father's Day is Sunday. Um... But there might be that the additional time that you need to spend with an older with an older male in your life. The most difficult part of the situation is over. Whatever is this never-ending story, it's a cycle that needs to come to an end. 
So for the two of you coming together and talking it out, getting over the obstacles, it's got to be a different energy than from what you parted from. Gong, an exciting event. Remember, the sun was at the bottom. Not only is that your energy, like I said, I feel like you brought excitement and, um, and fun to their life. January. This could be someone who is a Capricorn or an Aquarius. This could be the last time you spoke to this person. All right, one more I'll get. Family wishes come true. So for the, those of you, it's, it's definitely, it's someone that feels like home to you. And with taking that break, taking that vacation, two people coming together, heart over head decision, really talking it out. I know it's head over heart, but this person really is making a heart over head decision. Following their heart towards you, talking it out, and then maybe taking that vacation together. Getting away from what our usual, you know, your usual routine is to spend time with this person. All right, we have R. G, E, I, A, O, K, N, S, Y, I see Rory right here, I see Greg, the rest are repeats. All right, so take what resonates. Take what resonates. Leave that vacation emoji down below, letting me know you're interested in the two free personal love readings this month that I'm giving away. For any of you that would like to visit my Etsy shop, I do offer personal readings over there, a variety of them. I am actually getting caught up on personal reading, so if you see it sold out, you can either send me a message that you're interested in one of the ones that's sold out, or favorite the shop and come back in a couple days, and then I'll have it restocked. All right, guys, have a good rest of your week. I will be back for the weekend readings. Love and light.